Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at the uh, Spanish Lost in Space robot toy. You can see, and it's uh, larger than the ideal American one. And it uh, has a talking box in it, which uh, sometimes works. Sometimes it just needs Sometimes it doesn't work. Anyway, it's got a bunch of phrases which I can't understand. And um, being as old as it is, I guess it's lucky it works. This switch on the back powers up the bump and go drive. Here's where the two D cells go, and there's these flaps that hold the batteries in. I've worked on a few of these for other collectors. I've never seen one where this bump and go drive isn't broken and and the way it's made all plastic and glued together, there really isn't anything you can do about it. It's really poorly designed. Um, the insides in here have a light effect, which is really cool to look at, but again, it's poorly designed. But it looks really good when it works. And I think we got the bump and go running, but uh, check out the chest display. That's cool. You got the spinning spinners on top. And you can faintly see the chasing lights or action around there. It's actually all just one light bulb. And there's a uh, there's a, a cellophane loop which is moving around. It's all driven uh, by a rubber belt. Very uh, very hard to uh, repair and explain. I did take some pictures. I think I'll post them up on uh, Alpha Drone of the inside so you can see what that stuff looks like in the inside of the record player because uh, to get it running, to get the motor running I had to take it apart to clean and lube the motor it has other issues and that I think has been played with a lot and the record's probably a little bit on the worn outside but at least it it does talk it does talk many times, I don't know what he's saying but there seem to be uh, several phrases built into it so Anything else on here I want to say? I don't... I don't think so. You have your, sometimes just referred to as your Mexican Lost in Space Robot or your Spanish Lost in Space Robot. 